Hi there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to show you how to poach eggs. For the poaching of the eggs, we are going to need some water. It's really important that the water be at a very bare simmer. You'll actually see in here that we have some bubbles just starting to form in the bottom of the pot that are slowly drifting up to the top of the surface of the water. And we have a really good head of steam coming up from the pot. That's exactly the temperature that you want. In France, it's called a shimmer or a shiver. We're actually just looking for the water to barely shake and very little bubbling, if any at all, coming up from the pot. Another thing that we're gonna need for about every quart of water inside the pot, we're gonna need about a teaspoon of vinegar for every quart of water, just plain white vinegar, to get the egg white to wrap around uh, and uh, uh, firmly or evenly coat the egg yolk itself. It also helps to have egg yolks cracked out of the shell, all ready to go in a cup, a custard cup or even a coffee cup of the handle will wind up working fine. And then over here I have a pan with some toweling, so when the egg comes out of the water I can drain it and dry it off, and we're also going to have to trim the white a little bit, and then we'll be ready to serve. About a teaspoon of vinegar for every quart of water. I'm going to give it a little stir. And I was also taught to stir the water around in a clockwise motion. And then take the egg that's in the cup and add it into the pot in that same clockwise motion. That's gonna help get the white to wrap around the yolk. And you can see as it starts to spin around, the white starts to spread around and kind of uh, uh, leave the yolk a little bit. These little strands of white that we have here, we're gonna trim off later but the majority of the white is wrapping around the yolk, creating a really nice oblong shape, and that's exactly what we want. And at this point, we're actually just gonna let the eggs sit in the water, regulate the temperature. Very, very important that the water does not come up to a boil, and if you have a little bit of bubbling coming up from the bottom of the pot, you wanna lower your heat. Um, in, in the meantime, as you're examining it, if you have a good head of steam, like you can see here, coming up from the water, and a little bit of bubbling gathering up on the bottom of the pot that slowly move up to the top of the pot and the surface of the water, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna, eggs are gonna sit in here for a couple of minutes for a really, really soft runny yolk. A lot of people like that. If you like it a little bit firmer, it's gonna sit in for as long as five minutes. And the easiest way to determine that is we're gonna take a slotted spoon, we're gonna lift an egg yolk out, or a whole egg out, and we're gonna lightly press on it with a clean hand. And if the yolk is really nice and soft, that's gonna give you a runny look and a, a runny uh, consistency. And if you're ready to serve, you bring it on out and drain it and dry it off. You can see I'm starting to get just a little bit of bubbling right inside the center of the pot. If it really starts to pick up, I'm going to lower the heat. But right now my heat is on a really low setting, so I'm not gonna futz with the flame right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit. After about three to four minutes when you wind up lifting out the egg, it's gonna have a much a decidedly firmer feel to it when you press on it. And that'll wind up giving you an egg that's gonna have more of a set yolk when you cut into it with a little bit of uh, a moist or even a, a slight bit of runniness right in the very center. If you're gonna do more than two eggs at a time. You wanna try and add in uh, the eggs in as rapid as, of a succession as possible. So they're all timed really evenly. Let's go ahead and let's give our egg a little test here. Gonna very gently lift the egg out of the water. And you can even tell before I even touch it, just the way that the white is still not quite set around here. If I give it a press, it still has a very, very soft consistency to it. We're gonna let that continue to poach for another minute or so. Great thing to do, to do with uh, these poached eggs, of course, is uh, a recipe like Eggs Benedict. Um, a lot of times uh, just poached eggs in the morning with a slice of bread is a really wonderful breakfast. Another great thing about poaching eggs uh, that you'll find is that you could actually take the, you could actually do these ahead of time. You could actually uh, poach them. I often would wind up doing this uh, when I worked in Europe. Poach them and then stop the cooking. And then you can reheat them later on. Let's see how this egg is doing here. So you see when I lift it on out, the white is really nice and evenly distributed around the yolk. But when I give it a press, it still is very, very soft. 
I'm gonna let that cook for just a little bit longer. Gently lower the egg back into the water. You might be tempted to crank up the heat in order to speed it up. Just take your time, let it go for uh, even a full five minutes. Uh, I'd rather have you wait a little bit longer and have the egg uh, have a really nice, soft, tender consistency to it. If you have the heat on too high and you have a really good amount of bubbling in the water, the white's gonna get tough and uh, the egg just isn't gonna be as pleasant to eat. As long as you have this good head of steam like you can see here, and the water is kind of, you can actually see the white kind of circulate, little bits of white circulating around in the water, so you know that the water is moving around due to the heat from underneath the pot, that's absolutely fine. Almost ready. I'm gonna say about another 30 seconds and we're gonna have a really nice uh, runny poached egg which a lot of people often like to take their piece of toast or their English muffin and dip into the runny yolk when they cut into it, when it comes out onto the plate. Move this guy around. Now whenever you are gonna poach eggs, you are gonna have these whites that are gonna float up on top of the water. That's absolutely fine. As I mentioned before, any of these whites are gonna spread out from the, uh, uh, the main egg and form a little tail. Like you can see when I lift it barely up out of the water, we got this white along here. We're gonna trim that off and clean it up so when it goes onto the plate, it's a lot more attractive. Okay. I'm really liking the feel of that now. It has a softness to it, but it, uh, it definitely has a decided spring. Uh, it's not really super soft, and of course, it's not really, really firm. I'm gonna take the egg on out and get it onto some toweling to help drain off the water. That guy feels nice too. Very, very gentle with the spooning. And you can see along here the white that I was mentioning. Here we have some white that's around. Just wind up taking your spoon and trim that up. And if you're ready to go for breakfast, this is gonna come out and go onto a plate. And I'll go ahead and I'll cut one of these open so you can see what we're looking at for our poached egg. And there we are, nice little runny interior. And that is how you poach an egg. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can get some additional information. If there's a recipe that you would like to see me make, feel free to send an email to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.